Hello and welcome to Unit 7, our final unit in this Latin American history class. So just take a moment, give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far. Uh, we're almost there. This unit, of course, is a bit different than the other ones. Um, it's not worth as many points. You don't have quite as many assignments. Um, and the focus of this unit is this book, The Little School by Alicia Partnoy. Um, hopefully you've all been able to obtain it. Um, and hopefully, if you haven't, you've already contacted me before you've watched this video. Uh, but if that's not the case, please let me know as soon as you possibly can. Um, this unit will be dis or disappearing. It'll be dealing with the theme of disappeared people during the military dictatorships in Latin America. Specifically, Part Noy's account uh, comes to us from Argentina. And uh, in that case... Uh, you'll also be reading chapter 12 in the Wood Book, and I actually suggest that you read chapter 12 first before you read Part Noi, if you haven't already done the opposite. Um, that is just the case because chapter 12 gives us some ways of thinking about um, the kinds of issues that Part Noi's account is attempting to address. Um, so Part Noi was uh, taken from her home from her young daughter, from her husband and was held um, and tortured in a facility that they called the little school. Um, that's all I'll give away of the book. But she wrote her memoir, um, this memoir, which, which has been fictionalized to a small extent, uh, but as you'll read in the introduction from Julia Alvarez, um, that fictionalization is to help us kind of better understand and um, and think through her story, her experience. Part Noy testified um, against her uh, captors and torturers in many different places throughout the world, but not in Argentina, um, at least early on in the 1980s when uh, she first was testifying to bodies like the United Nations. Um, in Argentina, the military dictatorship was still around, even if it wasn't in power. And that's a major problem that many of these nations throughout Latin America continue to face today. People who committed torture and genocide, like Efrain Rios Montt, that we read a little bit about last unit, um, there are these questions about how can we bring them to justice. The Rios Montt trial was unique in that it was the first time that one of these people had been convicted in their own country of human rights abuses and genocide. Of course, as we read about that case, uh, the conviction was overturned, although there has been an attempt to retry him. Um, he's getting older now, though, and is, uh, his health is not doing so well. And so again, there are questions about whether or not he can be brought to justice. But there are also questions about what does that mean? What does it mean to gain justice? How can someone like Alicia Partnoy receive justice for what has been done to her? Um, how can people who lost uh, mostly sons and husbands, brothers, cousins, uh, many of them were men. There were some women, of course, like Elysia Partnoy, uh, who were taken, but many of these were, were men. Uh, how can their family members who lost them, how can they put things back together? In Guatemala, how can the people who live near the sites of the uh, genocidal massacres of Mayan people in the highlands, how can they reconcile their place in the Guatemalan nation? Also, as we looked at last unit, the United States played a major role, if not directly in uh, committing these atrocities, at least in supporting and propping up the regimes that did this. Um, Efrain Rios Montt was a close ally of President Ronald Reagan, for example. Reagan supported him um, with funding and, and many other things. And so, you know, again, the United States has some complicity in what happened. Also, the efforts that the U.S. took in places like El Salvador, Honduras, even as recently as 2009 under Secretary Hillary Clinton, um, have created situations in these places that have actually... Um, fed the violence, the gang violence that we always hear about in Central America. Many of the families, mostly mothers and children, who are fleeing that violence, um, who are seeking refugee status in the United States, 
um, whose place in the United States is very much in limbo um, because of, of the immigration discussions and debates that we're having here politically. Um, these things were caused by us, by the United States. And that's a part of the story that we don't often tell, or that we don't often think about when we talk about things like immigration policy. Also, too often, we don't think about the actual faces of the people. You know, these are human stories, human beings that we're talking about um, who are trying to find better lives. Um, so hopefully, again, as you read through the excerpts in Wood, it'll give us a few different angles through which we can think about historical memory, ideas of justice and reconciliation, and then we can go on to discuss the Part Noi book. So remember that this uh, unit for Unit 7 um, you need to post some tweets about Partnoy and uh, Chapter 12, um, the usual due date by the first Sunday, and then during the second week, um, all you need to do is post to the discussion. Um, read in the discussion forum, the terms for this discussion are just a little bit different than usual, um, but uh, you know, go ahead and finish that discussion assignment, and then, excuse me, all of this will hopefully prepare you to submit your essay assignment on uh, the little school, uh, which will be due at the end of the unit. If you have any questions, or if you want me to read a rough draft of your essay, I'm more than happy to do that and help you with the questions you have. The only catch is that you need to get it to me at least a couple of days ahead of the due date so that I can look it over and send it back to you with my feedback. So if you want to take advantage of that, that's an opportunity that you have. You definitely don't have to do that if it's not going to work for you or you don't feel that you need it. All right, um, I look forward to discussing these, uh, as I said, very thorny, but very important and very present issues with you.